Good afternoon. This is Eve Starr with Eve Starr Fiber Arts, and I've got some new stuff we're adding to the shop that I wanted to show you. Um, we are taking the beautiful 10 acres of woods that we have on our own property, and we look through things that have fallen, and there's a lot of that because it's pretty much untouched hardwoods all the way up the little mountain behind us. And we keep finding these amazing sticks. Like, look at this with these two vines just twisted around each other. So we find the best ones, and then I clean them up, uh, try to leave as much of the natural patina on there and keep them, keep them natural like this lovely twisted one here. And then I use some of my wood balm here. And this uh, I make, and I use it on all my wood, like this slice of cedar right here. And so it's got a little bit of that on it. And then I added some things on the ends, like if you want to do macrame on this one, you've got this whole center section to use. And then on the ends you have a real lichen and moss, and then um, you know, with wood dyed, and then needle felted acorns. So that would be an adornment on the edges. And down here, um, we're doing pussy willows. And I've been researching them, and I know now that they grow in little pairs. I grew up with pussy willows, and I love them. And that they have like a little dark uh, seed case under each one. So I'm making some that are realistic, like these colors up here. And then I'm making fantasy ones down here. Uh, all of this is fi natural fiber that I process here myself. I dye it, I spin it, I weave with it, and then knit with it. And so um, I'm just using what we have, some of it realistic and some of it just these fantasy ones, which like in a little girl's room would be just adorable. And I'm making them in jewel tones, pastels. And if you have a request, I could probably go ahead and dye it and make it for you. That'd be a lot of fun. I've been doing some needle felting lately. Um, and this is a 2D needle felted. I'm doing a 3D bunny too. And this one I just did really quickly over a couple of days to get used to playing with the stuff. But this is all hand dyed, hand spun. These are mohair locks that I dyed. And uh, got the little pussy wheels going there. And then this little bunny, um, the original one that I saw was by Sarah Renzulli of Serafina Fiber Arts. She had a video on YouTube. And I thought it was so cute that I went ahead and tried it. And I just love how it turned out. Didn't need a kit or anything because I've got tons of these fibers. So again, here is a close-up of some of those fantasy pussy willows. These sticks aren't done yet. I'm just sharing those with you. And then we have the little wool nips with the natural pine cones. Natural lichen with, with a little bit of wool. And then um, I demonstrated how to use one of these sticks with a little pear on it. Uh, to make macrame, I used my own um, hand-dyed, hand-spun toilet twine. It's like baker's twine, only better, because it's made out of Corydale wool. It's got a lot of oomph to it. But I found that the, the knots don't show up, up as well as just when you use plain rope. So I'm going to be doing a lot of that, too. And I will demonstrate how macrame looks on these. You can also use it to hang up maybe uh, a needle-felted picture like this one. This was my color study for one that I'm finishing right now. Here it is on the, on the loom. And it's just about finished. I'm right at the end. And underneath here, trapped, is a, a rug and a scarf. So I need to finish this because I have a commission. See down there, that's all. Everything that's going to be in the warp and the weft for the commission. It's going to be a big wide scarf, kind of like an Eileen Fisher idea. So here you can see I use my hand spun yarn. Um, I went ahead and did the tapestry sideways this time. So it actually goes like this. And it's kind of hard to tell right here because it's a lot bigger than the area that you can see. But it's almost done. Here you see the, the hand dyed bunny that I, I used for the clouds in the sky. And this is so soft you wouldn't believe it. This is part of my step up to Lux line too. And I'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, that we're going to wrap up this one. We've got some needle felting. We've got sticks. We've got macrame stuff coming. And uh, over here, you still see our purple. This is our uh, plethora of purple posies. And the three scarves I have on special this week. 
I've got orange flowers coming now, so you can imagine what I'm going to have on special next week. They're going to be peach and orange and bittersweet, but this week it's purple. So you can take advantage of my very low price this week because I need another loom. And I'm marking stuff down just for now. And here's my other tapestry that would hang from one of these twisty vines too. So, just wrapping this one up, this is Eve Star with Eve Star Fiber Arts. My next video is going to be how to block a shawl or shawlette. Those of you who have purchased shawls from me or other people might wonder, well, what do I do when I wash it? How do I make sure it's going to look the way I want it to when I'm done? And that's what I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for that. If you subscribe, you get all kinds of neat benefits from that. You get on my email list so that I can send you coupon codes and you're the first to know about all kinds of stuff. We've got all kinds of stuff coming this fall, including uh, lighted twisty vines with little tiny uh, fairy lights on them. And we've got wall paneling made from cedar. So stay tuned. Bye for now.